To create a first class calendar, just go into your web publishing folder, mine says Tech Integration, click the very top bar, and then click New Web Page. You'll find there's a web calendar right there. Just double click it. Now when you click it on the sidebar, you'll see your calendar. So you can click into a date, click on New Event, and then fill out the fields. You could do this for homework or volunteers. You could change the times just like you can with any first class calendar. You can even do repeat schedules so you could do it by week, especially if it was for a volunteer or weekly assignments and choose to do it all the way until the end of school, like in June. Once you click OK and save and close, you'll see all of your events appear on the calendar. To rename your calendar, click on the calendar once and hit Command I to change the name to something like Volunteer Calendar. You can also change the icon if you have skins set up so that your web page looks the same. And you can choose a different image and click OK. iWeb is a little bit different since there's no calendar page, but I do need to create a new page, so I do File, New Page, and I can choose any of the themes there on the left. Probably want to keep it consistent, but I want to choose a blank page. Blank page comes up just as it sounds. It's blank except for a text box. So now I need to go get a calendar. I'll use the program iCal. I bring up iCal, and I'll change an event to something like um, volunteer, or parent volunteer rather. And now I can change the dates or the times that they come in. So for instance, this parent volunteer will come in on Mondays from 9.15 till 10 a.m. I do want it to repeat by week because she'll be coming in each week. And I do want it to stop eventually. So on the date of, and I'll say um, June 23rd, for instance, so that she's in all year. iCal has multiple calendars within it. So I want to make sure that I set this for my work calendar. So it shows up in green, and then I'm done. Now, to take a look at that repeat, I click on the month view, and there you can see all of the times she's going to come in. To grab this, I need to click on Command-Shift-4 to get the crosshairs. And then I'll hold down my mouse while I drag it out to make a gray box around the entire calendar. And when I let go, I'll hear a camera sound. This saves that picture to my desktop. So I'll slide iWeb over a little bit. See if I can find this picture. It's hiding back behind one of these windows here. There it is. So then I'll drag that picture into iWeb, and then I can just resize it after I delete my text box to give myself more room. By holding down um, one of the corners, I'll just resize the calendar so that I can fit it onto the page. And there we go. I have a calendar inside of iWeb. For more tech tips, just visit Mr. Lawson's website and click on Teachers Tech Tip.